Do you feel like you're living the movie Groundhog Day right now? Where every day is the same day over and over and over again. If every day is bleeding into the next day and you often wonder what the hell day is it? What time is it? Where the hell am I? This is not some long, lazy vacation. That's not what self-isolation is. This is also not going to be the most productive moment of your life. So stop listening to these influencers that are telling you that you got to make this the most productive. You got to hustle. You got to launch something. You got to do something. You can, but first you got to make sure that you do the basics, that you do the mindset shift and the time shift that is going to give you some stability right now. Bill Murray in Groundhog Day has a very good quote for us to pay attention to right now. You want to know what it is? Here it is. Anything different is good. Anything different is good. There's this concept that I want to talk to you about called executive functioning. Executive functioning is the secretary that is in your brain. What does a secretary or an executive assistant do? They keep somebody organized. They remind you when your calls are coming. They keep you on task. And so every one of us has an administrative assistant in our brain that's called our, our executive functioning. And it is your mind telling you, oh, it's 12.15, it's time for lunch. Or it's the ability for your brain to see what's coming and to direct you. And so a lot of us have challenges with executive functioning, the ability to direct ourselves. We know what to do, but we can't quite get ourselves organized. In times of stress, what's very interesting based on the research is that most of us feel not that our executive functioning snaps in and tells us what to do. We become an executive with dysfunction. Normally, you have a great morning routine. You jump out of bed, you get to the gym, you eat a healthy breakfast, but right now, coronavirus groundhog day right now, you wake up and you don't feel your mind go, oh, time to get up. You feel your mind go, eh, you don't have to commute. So you could roll back and sleep another 45 minutes. When your executive dysfunction in your mind starts to coach you in ways that aren't that great, that's when you got to snap out of it because honestly, that's contributing to the Groundhog Day phenomenon. I think that we have all completely underestimated how our normal routine of leaving where you live and seeing other people, whether it's going to the gym or dropping kids off at school or commuting to an office or running to the grocery store or going to that dog park, being able to leave and go somewhere else and see other people it breaks up time and it marks time in a way. And right now, none of us are leaving and we can't go anywhere. And so you are in the same place all day, which is also contributing to this executive dysfunction in your head where your days and hours and minutes are blending together. Given the changes with the coronavirus, every day is going to feel like Groundhog Day unless you shift your relationship to time. How do you do that? A lack of predictability makes you feel unsafe. A lack of a routine makes you feel like you're in Groundhog Day. We have to have a routine right now. We have to. Every day fighting to stay grounded and fighting to be kind to yourself and fighting to have the emotional resilience, which is the ability to cope with this once in a lifetime first of its kind experience that we're all having. None of us have done this before. And so you got to have a routine. You got to wake up. You got to get your ass out of bed and you have to get dressed. Now, another thing that I really want you to do, I want you please to exercise. I know it's the devil word. Just spend 10, 15, 20 minutes move your body. Why am I saying that? I'm saying it not because I expect you to get six pack abs right now. I, I've never had six pack abs in my life. I'm never going to. Okay. But the reason why I'm begging you is because 
emotion is stored in your body. And so if you're feeling emotionally heavy, if you're feeling like you're starting to go to a dark place, if you're feeling a little bit of despair, which is what I was feeling this weekend, please move your body as part of your routine because we want to get all that negative emotion that's stored in your body, get it the fuck out of your body, okay? Now, here are two anchors I want you to drop in your day. And this is going to be really important for your routine. You ready? Pick a starting time where you're going to start your day, meaning you're going to start your Zoom calls or you're going to start working on that project or you're going to start your first class. Pick a start time. That's boom, your first anchor. Why am I saying anchor? Because right now, when you feel like every day is Groundhog Day and that you are drifting from one hour to the next one day to the next, we need to get that boat that you're in anchored down in one place and a start time to your day will do that. What's the other anchor that you need? You need an end point to your day. So you're going to pick a start time and an end time. When are you going to end? And then the final thing I want in your routine, and I'm going to sum this up, don't worry, is I need you to pick something fun you're going to do tonight. Are you going to watch an episode of Tiger King, which we've been watching? It gives you something to look forward to in order to shift your relationship to time. If you feel like you're experiencing Groundhog Day while being quarantined because of this pandemic, you need to get back to your routine. The routine makes you feel sane. It, it makes you shift your relationship to time. You need to get up. You need to get on clothes. I'd like you to move because we want you to move and get all of that emotion that's stored in your body out and then drop an anchor. What's your start time for today? Drop a second anchor. What's your end time for today? And make sure you got something you're doing tonight that you have to look forward to.